going low at 10 to 10 p.m. on June the 1st, 2010 from Madrid. Got into town today probably around noon. Made my, well, took my rental car back at the airport and then ended up taking the subway two different lines um, downtown to the Gran Via where my hotel is located. I had absolutely no idea of uh, Madrid. Actually, I've been reading about it, but uh, when you have a city with so many different sites and so many places to visit, it's sometimes a little bit overwhelming to be able to figure out what's important to see and, and you know what to see first and what to leave off the list. So what I figured I would do is I hopped on the double-decker bus. I know it's a little bit kooky, but uh, it's a great way of getting to know a city. It really helped me get a great overview. Um, the tourist bus that I went on basically has 20 stations and hits all the major uh, important sites. The Royal Palace, the Plaza Mayor, Puerta del Sol, Atocha, Paseo de, del Prado, the Gran Via, all these interesting places. And I have to say that was one of my brighter ideas to get to know the city. Spent about an hour and a half, I think, on the bus and got myself a little bit of an overview. And, um, yeah, Madrid is supposed to come alive at night. People love to go out here. From what I've been reading, uh, Madrileños stay out way, way, way past midnight, sometimes until 5 to 7 a.m. Now that doesn't usually work for me because, you know, evening time is when I have to he have to head back into the hotel, download all my video stuff, my 600 photos for the day and all that type of stuff, so definitely no disco dancing for me. But um, I thought I would head out on the town a little bit, give you a nighttime view of Madrid, all the necessary action, including the uh, motor scooters. And a uh, oh, lovely view here. So what I ended up doing after, whoops, after, uh, after I got off the um, tourist bus, I had a nice walk up on the Gran Via, which is a phenomenal, impressive shopping street that actually was constructed in the early part of the 20th century. It's about 100 years old. They took down a bunch of medieval streets and built a huge, impressive boulevard with all sorts of Art Nouveau and Art Deco architecture. So I had to check that out. Came back on the Ca Calle del Alcalá or something like that. Then walked all the way across past the Puerta del Sol and then checked out the Royal Palace and the cathedral right next to it, La Catedral de la Nuestra Señora de la Almudena or something like that. Ah, see, we've hit the uh, pedestrian zone now. Phenomenal cathedral. I have to do a little bit more research on it. Um, it looks like it was built in the 20th century because it looks quite modern inside. And then from there on, I headed over on the Calle Mayor, caught a, a wonderful market called the Mercado de San Miguel. The building uh, looks like it stems from the late uh, 19th uh, century, probably somewhere around the 1880s. It's a, uh, a cast iron construction and the market had all sorts of goodies and delicacies from fruit and vegetables to seafood, ham, typical smoked ham from Spain and all sorts of other, other products. Then I caught uh, La Plaza Mayor the main square of Madrid, which I think was built in the 1600s by the Habsburgs. Very, very impressive, huge square with four facades, uh, all the buildings basically having the same design. Red color, if I remember correctly. Uh -huh, here's the theater again in the background here. And from that point forward, I went to Puerta del Sol. The doggies. They're having fun. <laughs> 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 
and uh, yeah, nice evening action going on here in Madrid. So at Puerta del Sol I hop back on the tourist bus, which is nice because for 17 Euros, Euros you actually get to hop on and hop off as many times as you want until 9 p.m. And I headed over to the Atocha train station, which is a historic train station uh, from the late 1800s. Love that history, love that architecture. And from that point, I walked over to the beautiful Retiro Park, which is a huge city park. And uh, there's quite a few different things in there. A monument, I think, to Philip III. Well, some live music going on here now. And uh, the Palacio del Cristal, which is a hot house from the 18, late 1880s. And there's another palace in there, Palacio Velázquez, I think it's called. There you go. So I checked out the Retiro Park, which is just beautiful. Playing La Comparsita. I like that. Very nice. And uh, yeah, and then from that point on, I caught the bus again and took it back over to the Gran Vía and just had dinner. I love that song. And uh, and now I'm taking a walk in downtown Madrid. Gorgeous, still hot, very hot. I think it was up to 35 degrees today. And uh, I think it's still way in the upper 20s right now. Very, very warm, sunny, but it's a dry heat, as they say, which is, which makes it bearable, let's put it that way. And I think I'm heading now towards Puerta del Sol and I'll come back to you in another clip.